In a bid to eradicate poverty among the youths of Alimosho constituency, the member House of Representatives representing Alimosho Federal constituency, Abdul Ganiyu Ayuba, in partnership with Center for Management Development, organized a two-day training on ICT mobile phones repairs and fish farming and hatchery management. Present at the event were Center for Management Development officials, political leaders, community leaders, and residents, amongst others. Speaking at the event, the lawmaker Abdul Ganiyu Ayuba reeled out some of his achievements since one and a half years in office. The issue of representation, the reward, one of the rewards that I, Abdul Ganiyu Ayuba, I was able to bring back to Adimosho is this fish family that you are here for now. And if you are following up very well, if you are really faithful to this party, you will realize that this is the second month. We had one last year. And people are asking for more. That's why we said, let us enlarge the number. And we have more numbers here today. Ayuba stated further that the empowerment initiative was also in line with his electioneering quest towards reducing the joblessness and unemployment rates in Ali Mosho Federal constituency. We are going to have stakeholder meeting very soon where we have enough time to explain the details of what we have done. I don't want to waste much of your time today. Today is for training and I pray that this seed we are playing today will germinate into an oak tree where so many people will go benefit. The facilitator of the program implored the beneficiaries to utilize the tools judiciously and follow all the knowledge received from their various trainings. I would like each and everybody to let's look at farming as a very important aspect of life. Let's go into farming. Let's plant something at home. Don't let us all be a consumer of finished product. Let's help to produce something, to manufacture something. And I believe that together we will get this country back to its feet. So my advice to them is to ensure that they use it judiciously. They don't sell it. It's very important that we have, we have to emphasize this, that they must not sell any equipment given to them. Selling it is that they are selling their future. Selling it, is, it means that they don't want to feed their children. Selling it, it means that they don't want to send their children to, to school. And even before now, he has been doing this. He has touched the lives of the people of Alimo Shafira constituency positively. And you always see him moving motions, impactful motions, that will bring development to the people of Alimo Shafira constituency and also the community of Alimo Shafira constituency. So we cannot thank him enough. The highlights of the event were the presentation of the certificates to participants, empowerment of the trainees with various tools and equipment, distribution of sewing machines, distribution of grinding machines, distribution of baby delivery packs to families, and distributions of cash grants to the aged in Alimosho Federal Constituency. The beneficiaries expressed joy over the support and initiative that the empowerment program will go a long way in impacting the lives of Alimosho Constituency. I am very happy because KK is my, is my mind. I thank him very much. And I, 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 I'm very, very happy today to, to, to see what happened today. KK, you will never like good things. I'm so, so, so happy. I really appreciate our Honorable for giving us this opportunity. And I'm, you know, saying that we will not let him down. We are going to continue and God will continue to, you know, strengthen him. Him. We really appreciate him. God bless him really good. I've learned more on the area of uh, stocking, on the area of making sure that I choose my breeding from the fingerling to the, 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 the stocking time to make sure that I have a good breed. That determines the kind of product I'm going to have at the end of the day. We took it upon ourselves to visit those beneficiaries where they are doing this fishing farming. And we discovered that, yes, they are doing great. So by so doing, so also it will apply to these people that we are having here now. 
We are going to empower them with the fish, with everything needed for them to start the business. And I'm, I want to tell you that so also we are going to visit them at random to make sure that the thing is yielding result that we want from them. So these um, programs, the training programs, they are very good. They are targeted at improving the skills, the skills of the youth to make sure they are safe and dependent, to make sure that we reduce the pressure on um, a number of youth, you trying to seek employment uh, at the private sectors. To all the beneficiaries, especially those who have been trained on fish farming, ICT, I want them to put this into practice. Rather than selling whatever items they giving to them, they should use it judiciously. Try and see what will come out of it. Like those he did, the fish farming he did uh, last year, most of them are giving God their glory because they are making uh, money. They are making living out of it. So when the opportunity came for me and my constituent to call on me to come and represent them, I have no choice other than to do it, to follow the footsteps of our leader. These are some of them. Empowering problems, buying swing machine for our people, buying uh, granny machine for our people, doing uh, fish farming for our people. A lot of training to empower them. We have our city training for our youth to empower them. Then we have cash bank for our elderly ones that cannot do much work anymore. We are giving them a cash grant to make sure that their life is worth, it's meaningful. At least that will be able to do it, to cushion the effect of what we are going through in Nigeria today. Oh,